Well, today is a really good step forward in the fish house build because we have painted the fish house, as you can see, this lovely bluey grey colour. But also, today we are installing the water system. So I've got all the necessary fittings and bits and pieces. And we're basically going to be coming off the mains and installing an inside tap into this area here. And basically what that will allow me to do is have a sink and also have some mains to run off my RO system. Uh, we're going to come in through this corner, go along the bottom of the floor and then up and install the tap. And this is the mains pipe we're going to be coming off of. I'm just going to put a T in there and then go straight through the side of the shed. To do the drilling I have bought this amazing looking drill bit. So this allows you to drill different diameter holes. So I'm only going to be needing to do around the 20 mil hole, so that will allow me to gauge the depth of my drill. And this will also go through metal, wood, uh, and also everything else pretty much. So I can just drill straight through with this, the right depth outside of my shed. So that was super, super easy. Look, we have a hole to the outside world. And um, the idea now is this pipe We'll just go straight through, obviously have to wiggle it through, um, and then we can attach our mains to it. How exciting. So we go, we've got some 20 mil blue mains pipe coming out. You can see where we're gonna do the connection. Now all I have to do really is just cut this pipe and it's important to use the oldest, bluntest, and most rustiest hacksaw you can, just to make the job as hard as possible. And then when that's cut, we're simply gonna add this T fitting um, to the joint and we'll use these inserts into the pipe just to make the uh, fitting as tight as possible just like that awesome so the next stage is getting the water from a 20 mil mains pipe down to a 15 mil um, pipe for the internal water supply and to do that I'm using a uh, reducing stopcock so this will one allow me to turn the water off inside if I need to and also it reduces it down to the 15 mil. The reason I'm reducing it down to the 15 mil is because I want to have an RO system feeding from this and I can't find an RO adapter that works on 20 mil pipe. So I'm going to go down to the 15 because most of the RO water adapters run from a 15 mil pipe. So that is the stopcock attached, really quite simple. Um, I have used some plumber's tape in there as well just to get a good seal. And we'll just go turn the pressure on now with this turned off and we can test if there's any leaks. So no leaks whatsoever, works flawlessly. The next step is to add the 15 millimeter pipe onto the other side of this stopcock. I'm going to cut it in half and use the 90 degree bend to um, put the pipe going upwards where I want the final tap position. Uh, and this is a push fit fitting. The tap itself is two parts. One part mounts it to the wall and then it screws in uh, and then we have a tap fitting to use. So there we have it. Look how good that is. I put a little bracket down here to just hold that tap in place and just fixes it. I'll probably put another couple of brackets in to hold the 15 mil. Um, I have tested it. It does actually work. I won't turn it on full bore but you can see we've got water coming out. Wonderful. And that is a big thing for the progress of this fish shed. So from this point we can start installing the racking, we can install the RO system um, and the auto top up and sump system. So this was actually a major part of this build, getting this water in here has moved me on to the next step. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have please remember to like and subscribe. Once again thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.